Is your self-worth measured in terms of your work, wealth, or ways? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Brimo, not his real name, is a regular Catholic. He goes to Mass on Sundays with his wife, Pita. They live alone in a large house in a gated community, just with their dogs. Their three children have their own families already and live in various parts of the city and abroad. While Pita continues to work as a lawyer in a large firm, Brimo just retired from a successful career as a chief risk officer of a large multinational bank. Early in his retirement, he felt the pangs of depression consuming him. He felt irritable and restless, had problems going to sleep, began to be absent-minded and tired all the time. He felt hopeless and helpless and suffered anxiety attacks. He thought about committing suicide several times. One weekday, he went to church to the Blessed Sacrament Chapel. He was alone. As he was staring at the exposed Blessed Sacrament, he suddenly felt consumed by the peace and holiness of the place. After two hours, he emerged more confident and resolute. He and his wife finally acceded to the invitation of a friend to join Couples for Christ. With renewed passion and hunger for Christ, they became active in serving Him, joining the mission trips He was invited to, and devoting his time to spiritual pursuits, including serving in the parish as a Eucharistic minister. He found his calling. He found peace in God. Today is Pentecost Sunday, the birthday of the Church. This brings to conclusion the celebration of the Paschal Mystery, that is, the suffering, death, resurrection, and ascension and coming of the Spirit on Jesus' disciples. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus appears to his disciples for the first time after his resurrection, and the first words he utters are, Peace be with you. And he then says, As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Breathing on them, he declares, Receive the Holy Spirit. We reflect on these words that become more meaningful in our own individual journeys through life. Peace is what we may subconsciously desire, yet it remains buried in the busyness of our lives. While we search for it, it is really just within us, kept whole by the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us to safeguard it and share it with us. Peace and the accompanying joy are what Jesus wants us to have. Yet we search for it in the wrong places. We think we can find it in our career, where we are measured by the number of promotions we get and the accolades we win. We think we can find it in our wealth, our businesses, our fame, the offshoot of our skills, talents, blood, sweat, and tears. We think we can find it in our ways, the number of hobbies, friends, and organizations we are part of. Ironically, the business we participate in masks the loneliness in our hearts. And when we go home after a, well, busy day, we then feel hollow and depressed. In this emptiness that engulfs us, our Lord gives us the opportunity to fill it with His peace from the Holy Spirit. The Lord tells us if we want, receive the Holy Spirit. He wants the Holy Spirit to be our guide, our guardian, our counselor, our hope, our peace. For our self-worth is not a product of our work, our wealth, or our ways. It is a product of our relationship with God. Through the Holy Spirit, He sends us to accompany us. And when we have found solace in His presence, He wants us to busy ourselves with a different kind of busyness, that of being His messengers and instruments of the peace and hope He has given us. We may have been lost, but have been found. More importantly, our acceptance of the Holy Spirit brings us true peace and joy and a desire out of our gratefulness to remain in His presence, directing our energies to what matters, what is worth much more than our earthly preoccupations, serving Him for the rest of our lives. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the resolve to serve you more, beginning with my family and extending itself to the outside world, so that with the confidence and peace that the Holy Spirit brings me, I can help renew the face of the earth. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.